Hey, it's time to talk about another student council president that's a pretty gear. She's got the tomboy style mixed with her yellow colors, and she can shine up the world. Itsuki Maeduan, aka Cure Sunshine. So let's talk about the yellow cure of her catch team. Itsuki Mayadwan is one of the four main chairs in her catch pretty cure. She is a second year student at Mayadu Academy and is also the student council president. Itsuki's alter ego is Cure Sunshine and she represents the flower, Sunflower. Her catchphrase is, I will heal the darkness in your heart with my light. Isuki Moi Dream comes to the seventh season in the Pretty Cure series. Her catch Pretty Cure. She made her debut in episode 3 as herself and became the chair of Sunflowers in Light, particularly Sunlight, in episode 23 of Her Catch. She is 14 years old and comes from Kibo, Okohana. Itsuki is the younger daughter of the Moi Dwayne family. Her family members are Tsubaki Moi Dwayne, her mother, Satsuki Moi Dwayne, her older brother, and Gentaro Moi Dwayne, her grandfather. Itsuki's role in the series is being a pretty cure, and she goes by the name Cure Sunshine and Super Cure Sunshine in one of her power up forms. Her theme is sunflowers, and her main theme color is yellow, while her sub theme is gold. She has the power of flowers like the rest of the cures of the season, but for her, she can use the power of sunlight. To transform into a pretty care, Itsuki calls out the henshin phrase, Pretty care, open my heart. But she needs the items, heart perfume, which her, for her is called shiny perfume, and a heart seed which is yellowish gold in color provided by her partner, Potpourri. Unlike the other pretty cure partner, who uses a weapon called Heart Flower Tact, Sunflower has her own unique weapon called Shiny Tambourine. She can also use the Heart Catch Mirage with the other three cures. Isuki Moidwin is voiced by Hoko Kuishima, who outside of Pretty Cure, you may best know her as Marong Kusakabi, the main protagonist of Phantom Thief Jean, Songo in Inuyasha, Claire in Claymore, and Medusa in Soul Leader, with a bunch more other roles. And Isuki has three Imisons, which are Symphony of the Sun, Power of Shine, and Gold Hearts Light. Izuki has the appearance of a young man with brown eyes and short flared hair framing her face. She wore the boys' school uniform both at school and casually until switching it with the girls' uniform when she began growing out her hair. She also began to wear an outfit Erica and Tizabomi helped her make a gold tunic with orange bow and ribbon designs, denim leggings, and white sneakers. In the movie, she wears a pale beige turtleneck beneath a gold strapped -to top and dark brown jacket, denim pants, and black shoes. As Kier Sunshine, her eyes turn gold and her very long hair turns blonde, worn in curly twin tails, held by orange bows with gold flowers to match her earrings. Instead of a choker, she has an orange ribbon around her neck. Her attire resembles that of Blossom and Marines, but is a two-piece composed of a cropped blouse with orange ribbon detail and a large gold ribbon on the chest, 
adorned by a silver and cyan heart brooch. Her skirt has gold petals and a pale yellow flower on the hip. On each hip, she also gains white and orange flower-shaped wrist pieces with a pale yellow flower, in matching colored boots with a ribbon tied on top. As super pure sunshine, her hair grows longer, and she gains an orange heart gem tiara to match her earrings. She, her neck ribbon is changed for a pale yellow choker to ascend the new coloring of the orange and gold details of her outfit. Her chest ribbon and hair bows slightly alter in shape, while the flowers of her skirt turn light yellow. Her skirt glows out in length and gains a pair of tails. Her boots grow longer, and she gains opera gloves, both with ribbon around the top. She also gets rainbow light wings shaped like a heart. Befitting of her image in upbringing, Itsuki is a rise and princely young woman who is very formal with others. She is calm-tempered and kind, willing to help friends and strangers alike, but she can also be stern when it's necessary and has no problem stepping in to defend those weaker than her. She is brave and compassionate, but this will not stop her from unleashing rage on those who hurt the innocent. She is strongly admired by others for her strength and character and has a person which played a part in her struggle to find a compromise between who she thought she had to be and who she wanted to be. Usuki has a fondness for anything cute and girly while she is normally gentle and seems to be on the introverted side initially, she becomes excited by things like toys and clothing. When she realizes she can embrace this part of herself, she begins to show it more openly to others. Satsuki is Itsuki's older brother and a source of inspiration for her. Her desire to protect Satsuki allowed her to become clear sunshine and their relationship had a part in choosing her name. Popori is Itsuki's fairy partner. Itsuki initially thought Popori was a cute toy. They eventually bonded when they realized they both want to protect people, but feel they can't do it alone. Izuki was unknowingly the object of Tsubomi's affections, which caused her a great deal of sadness when she found out that Itsuki was actually a girl. She seems to take to Tsuzubomi fairly quickly and is friendly around her since they met, and she is shown to comfort Tsuzubomi the way close friends would when she gets frightened. They are also on good terms with one another, but Itsuki was forced to temporarily threaten to disband her club due to the lack of members. She was willing to let Erika try to keep it open though, and she was happy when she managed to succeed. She turned down Erika's request to join the fashion club until convinced later. Since then, she became a good friend of Erika's. Isuki was originally unable to approach Yuri, who chose to distance herself from Isuki and the other girls. After Yuri joins the team, Isuki and Yuri become close friends who have faith and work well with each other. Her last name is Mayudwan. When it's broken down, Mu translates to bright or light, in reference to Itsuki's sunlight based powers as Cure Sunshine. The Do comes from the prefix to building, meaning magnificent, and In means institution, temple, mansion, school, a reference to her connection to. Moyadu Academy and Junior High School, together, its meaning is roughly Bright Magnificent School. Her first name, Itsuki, is a Japanese unisex name. It can have many different meanings depending on how it's written in kanji. However, since Itsuki's name is written in hiragana, the meaning it is difficult to come up with an exact meaning for the name. In particular, the most likely intended meaning is timber trees, 
which would fit the theme of Hard Catch Pretty Cure. With all that, her full name, Izuki Moidwin, would mean Timber Trees Bright Magnificent School. As a cure, her name is Sunshine. She chose it for herself, like many of the cures in the season, by looking up and laying her eyes upon the sun. In story, she chooses the name in inspiration of her brother, who used to cheer her up by using the sun as told in episode 23 of Hard Catch. It also reflects the kanji in her last name meaning magnificent and light. Sunlight, like the name of Cure Marine, is, sometime, is something which, follow, which flowers need to grow, implying her role as a supporter of Cure Blossom. After school, Itsuki visits Tsubomi in Erika's classroom, wanting Erika's fashion club list of members, and giving a warning of disbanding the club. When the girls go to give Itsuki the members list for the fashion club, they find her training with the other students at the family dojo. Itsuki takes a break to talk to Erika and Tsubomi and tells them she will allow the fashion club to remain. Then a student comes with tea for Izuki and calls her Lady. Much to Tsubomi's surprise, Erika and Izuki then proceed to explain to Tsubomi that due to a certain situation, Izuki has to dress and act like a male, which shudders Tsubomi's crush on her. She later receives a plush bunny from an admirer. She walks off and hides the doll behind a bronze statue as she does not want anybody to see her venom inside. Korburaja, however, sees her with her wilted heart flower and approaches her. He damages the doll and seals Izuki's heart flower, creating a Desirarian out of a bronze statue. The Desirarian turns people to stone with its eyes but in the end starts admiring the female school uniform in Cure Marine's clothes, informing Korbraja who thought she was a boy that she was female. Shocking him when Korbraja insults her gender, Itsuki's Desurian kicks him away and Cure Blossom appears, now understanding how Itsuki really feels about her situation. She then purifies Itsuki's heart flower and asks her to join the fashion club afterwards as a way to feel more feminine. Itsuki says she will think about it and walks off with the fixed bunny and some male friends of hers from the student council. Still thinking about Tsubomi's offer to join the fashion club, Itsuki walks past Fairy Drop and spots a cute dress but chooses not to indulge in it because she believes it will ruin her image. Erika and Tsubomi talk to her shortly before joining the club, but she is still unsure. They advise her to at least try to design something she would like to make, and so having this in the mind before training, she draws a dress and gives it to the fashion club the day afterwards. The members of the club are impressed by her design and ask her to follow them to the shop to find fabric for it. Izuki is still in a dilemma over whether to try or do girly things or to maintain an image as a boy. But Erika and Tsubomi encourage her to finish the dress the day afterward at her home. She tries it on and Sasuke sees it and states that it looks cute on her. Though she is embarrassed and states that she is just fooling around after a boy named Hiroto is targeted by Komajaki, she briefly admires Care Blossom and Care Marine before realizing the more important matter at hand. As Izuki fights Komajaki, she realizes what Jojo, what judo really means, to protect others. Izuki joins the fashion club afterwards and shares with her family that she is a muscular girl with a love for venom and things. When Komajaki strikes and steals Aya Mizushima's heart flower during a storm, Izuki orders the students to protect the curtain. She is present for watching Pretty Hero battle against a Desarian. After the battle, Izuki goes up to Popori, who is posing as a stuffed toy, and hugs her, saying that the plushie is cute. 
Unknown to her, Popri feels a warmth come into her because of her touch, making her think that she is the dark star. She plays with Popri a little before Tsubomi and Erika close up to them, telling them that it is their doll. When Izuki asks where they brought it, however, Erika says she made it, convincing Izuki to give it back. The next day, Sasuke learns of a surgery that can cure his illness, which makes everyone in the family happy, though Izuki notes that something is wrong with her older brother later. She takes a fruit basket over to the hospital to cheer up Sasuke, but he politely rejects her attempts. Frustrated, Izuki meets the girls again, now not knowing that they had been stalking her the whole d way because of Popery's claims that she is pretty cure. They reveal that they heard of the story from her mother, and she confesses her worry for Izuki, making the girls forget to ask her if she has dreamed of the Tree of Hearts in Cure Moonlight. The day afterward, Popori calls out to Izuki before landing into her arms, scaring Izuki when she realizes that she dodged was a stuffed animal, Tox. Popori reveals to Izuki that she is the dirt cure that can not transform and fight to protect the Tree of Hearts. However, despite liking the pretty cure's clothes, Izuki rejects Popori's offer, stating that she doubts she can protect anyone. Right then, Tsubomi and Erika arrive with a bunch of sunflowers, and Popori hides inside Isuki's shirt, making her look pregnant. <laughs> when they open Isuki's door, they see that the window is broken, the bed is empty, and the other half of the heart flower falls on the floor, revealing Sasuke. They see a wheelchair dysteria and cause havoc outside the hospital, and Izuki witnesses Tsubomi and Erika transform into Precure, revealing their identities. Soon, she soon understands that the dysteria again is Satsuki, when it starts to talking about its fear for surgeries. But even when she tries to wake him up, it only makes the monster hit her. Popori protects Izuki, saying with tears, that they both want to protect something, but feel useless alone. Sasarina, realizing that Popori is the third fairy they are looking for, she tries to take him, but Itsuki protects him, stating that she will become a person that protects people. This causes Popori's chest to shine, and they all realize that she, that he was right in that Itsuki is the third cure. The fairy summons the shiny perfume, and Izuki transforms into Pretty Cure. She is stunned, but when Popori tells her to find a name, she sees the sunshine and fights shortly with the Zazarian before claiming that her name is Cure Sunshine. She fights off the Zazarian using Gold Forte Burst, and together with Tizabomi and Erika go to the Tree of Hearts to see it. There, she reveals her dream about the tree and Cure Moonlight, and meets Dark Pretty Cure in person, for the first time, she manages to defend herself before finding a strategy to occupy Dark Cure long enough for her and Popery to recreate the barrier around the tree, making it disappear. They are transported back to Kibo Okohana, and after the surgery, she is with her mother and grandfather to greet Satsuki, relieved that he made it okay. Sure Sunshine, along with the others, go to the Pretty Cure Palace to undergo the ultimate test to obtain the item called Harketch Mirage and their upgraded forms. Sure Sunshine's test revolves facing a past version of herself. Her past self attacked her in a rage over how she has abandoned her dedication to her martial arts and her devotion to her brother. Cure Sunshine realizes that she has not abandoned her martial arts or her brother, but she has now embraced her love of cute items and fashion. Her past self prepares to attack. She stops just short of Cure Sunshine's face and asks why she let her guard down. Cure Sunshine replies that she has not abandoned her martial arts or her brother, but now does, does things that she will make her brother smile. She returns to the Pretty Care Palace, which creates a statue of Cure Sunshine in recognition of her passing the test. 
Later, Kirk Sunshine, Moonlight, along with Marine, are forced to hold the Desert Devil at bay while Kirk Blossom completes her test. The three fight the Desert Devil, managing to keep it off balance and buy time for Kirk Blossom, who arrives just in time, having passed the test. All three summon their new forms, the Super Silhouette. In episode 40, Isuki reveals to Suzubomi and Erika that due to the increasing strength of their foe, she has decided that she needs to focus on being a pretty chair. Therefore, she will not enter the elections for student council president, which will reduce her other responsibilities and allow her vice president the chance to run for office. At Christmas, Dune returns to Earth and is after the power Cure Flower is sealed off from their battle. The Cures attack Dune, seemingly getting the upper hand. As the dust settles, Dune is still standing and then goes on the offense against the Cures, taking out Moonlight first quickly, followed by Sunshine and Marine. He then turns his attention to Cure Flower. Cure Blossom tries to stop him, but is unsuccessful and also falls to his power. Dune and Cure Flower then fight, but she also is no match for him in her weakened state, and defeats her. Leaving her, leaving for his fortress with Karako, the Cures are left defeated and unconscious. She awakens in the botanical gardens with the others, which has been protected by Cope, hides them while they recover. When the girls go outside, they are met with a, the shock of seeing the real world as a desert. Isuki runs home, calling for her grandfather and brother, but no replies. The four girls reunite and all are feeling defeated, until Erika's sister, Momoka, rushes out of nowhere, revealed to see her sister is alive. The girls then notice others arriving, all of which had been saved by the cures, which included Isuki's brother, Satsuki. Isuki rushes to him and clearly reveals he is okay. Tries to speak only for him to stop her and apologizes for making her worry and asks her to show him her beautiful smile. After being reminded of how much faith their friends have in the Pretty Cures, Tsubomi declares that the Pretty Cures will not give up. A desert ever arrives and the girls tell everyone to get into the botanical gardens. They transform and defeat the Desert Devil using Carcatch Orchestra. Cope joins the girls, pointing to the sky, indicating to the girls he knows where Karako is, and puts Kuro Marine on his back to let them know he is going with them. Just as the girls are about to leave to rescue Karako, their friends come out of the botanical gardens to wish them luck, with Sasuke telling her to return safely. The Pretty Cures and their mascots arrive at Dune's fortress and begin fighting the Snackies. While fighting their way to Karako, Komajaki and Koburaja appeared before the girls, challenging them to a final battle. Kira Marine along with Kira Sunshine accept the challenge, telling Kira Moonlight and Kira Blossom to believe in them and for them to rescue Karako. Cure Sunshine fights Koburaja and he takes her away from Cure Marine so the two can fight alone. Koburaja claims that Cure Sunshine is the best to fight him as she has such beauty on the battlefield. He evades her attacks again and again, even destroying her shield by making his cards absorb into the shield and explode. Just as he, he prepares to defeat her, Popery jumps in front of her and protects her with his own shield, and tells Koburaja that Kira Sunshine is the most beautiful there is for how she wants to protect everyone's hearts and smile. Kira Sunshine and Popery combine their shields to deflect Koburaja's attacks, and then they use Sunshine Beam together, putting Koburaja on the fence. Kira Sunshine then purifies him with Gold Forte Burst, and Koburaja is lifted into the sky by the Gold Flower of the Sun. She meets back up with Kira Marine, and the two are clearly exhausted from their fights, so to evade the Snackies, they disguise themselves as Snackies to get to Karako. They get to Karako and are so relieved they collapse on the floor. 
Co -pre presents the heart plot, and with the hope of all their friends, Isuki and Erika are given energy to continue fighting. They fight their way to Cure Moonlight and Cure Blossom. Moonlight and Blossom just manage to hold their own against Dune until Dune shoots dark energy at them, which explodes on impact. As the dust settles, Marine and Sunshine are revealed to have saved them from the attack, making Blossom glad to see them safe. They join Moonlight and Blossom in fighting Dune. Cures use the Forte wave attacks against Dune, followed by Marine and Sunshine combining to use for Power Fortissimo, and Cure and Moonlight and Blossom to do the same. All four hit Dune at the same time, and then all call the Heart Catch Mirage and use Heart Catch Orchestra against Dune. Although it provided it proved to be useless as Dune has been able to break free from it before the four girls finish him off, it wasn't until the four girls became Infinity Silhouette to completely defeat him, finally freeing Earth from his grip. After her life as Kira's Sunshine ended, Isuki decided to bid her friends farewell so she could study abroad in France in order to pursue her fashion career as a model. Cure Sunshine is the cure identity Isuki gains when she has to protect her older brother when he becomes a Desirian in episode 22. She is very different from Cure Blossom and Cure Marine in the sense that her heart perfume is called the Shiny Perfume, and she uses the Shiny Tambourine rather than the Flower Tax, and her attack is named Gold Forte Burst rather than the usual Pink, Blue, Silver, and Dark Forte Wave. When facing the advanced Desarian, Cure Blossom, Cure Marine, and Cure Sunshine can also perform a group attack finisher called Shiny Fortissimo in episode 31. Isuki transforms by saying, Pretty Cure, open my heart. Her introduction as Cure Sunshine goes, The flower that bathes in the sunlight, Cure Sunshine. She can perform for Power Fortissimo with Cure Moonlight, as shown in episode 38. During the final battle against Dune, Cure Sunshine and Cure Marine perform for Power Fortissimo together. Before her first transformation, she already knew how to transform and fight. Cure Sunshine is capable of fighting with martial arts, as the leader of the Morodin Dojo. Later on in the series, she becomes Heart Catch Pretty Cure. Super Silhouette, along with Care Blossom, Marine, and Moonlight in episode 38. When using her ultimate power up called Super Silhouette, she is called Super Cure Sunshine, which she revealed received after passing the trial in the Pretty Care Palace. This form is obtained when the items called Heart Catch Mirage and the Super Pretty Cure Seed are used. In this form, she can use the group finisher. Heart Catch Orchestra with the other cures, and has the introduction speech with the group, which is The flowers shining around the world, Heart Catch Pretty Cure Super Silhouette. In Pretty Cure All Stars DX3, Cure Sunshine does get a movie form, which looks like her Super Silhouette form. Although most of the forms in the movie are the same Cure Rainbow forms from the previous DX movies, she would be called Cure Rainbow Sunshine, but it's not named. And the wiki fandom doesn't talk about it, so I don't know if it counts, but I'm gonna say it, it anyway. You have the right to tell me if I'm wrong, as uh, since I have at least access to the Pretty Cure movies. It's really hard for me to confirm if I'm getting this right and that she did have a Cure Rainbow form. To transform into Cure Sunshine, Isuki's heart perfume, known as Shiny Perfume, appears. She holds it up at the top, slides up down, her hair becomes longer, and Papa recreates her heart seed for her. Then Isuki shouts, Pretty Care, open my heart. She inserts the seed into the Shiny Perfume and the transformation begins. She then sprays the perfume all around tossing it around as she goes. Her top, skirt, boots, and bracelets appear. Then her hair color changes to bright yellow, 
and becomes styled in twin tails. As her hair ornaments and earrings appear, she puts the perfume to her skirt and it transforms into a little pink and white colored bag. She spins and kicks around and introduces herself. Gold for tapers is her finishing attack that requires her shiny tambourine. She first used it in episode 24. To use the attack, she summons her shiny tambourine and rolls the sides of the tambourine with her left hand. All three sunflower symbols light up before its gemstone center starts to shine. The tambourine surges with pure energy, and pure sunshine taps it four times before declaring the attack name. She then shoots out several yellow, orange, and red energy flowers at the Desarian. An implosion occurs and the target is suspended in the air, a sunflower having overlap behind it. Pure sunshine moves the tambourine in a circular motion, and in a flash of light, the enemy is purified. Flora Power Fortissimo is her first finishing attack. I mean her finishing attack with Moonlight or Marine, that requires their flower attacks, but she has been seen to use it with Marine the most. Shining Fortissimo is a group attack with Blossom and Marine. They first used it in episode 31. It requires her tambourine and Blossom and Marine's flower attacks. To perform the attack, after summoning the weapons, Shunshine gathers several yellow, orange, and red energy flowers and forms a sun-like energy ball above her. After Blossom and Rain do floor power fortissimo, they come together and burst through the sun-like energy ball, and both of the curious bodies become golden before the three of them declare the attack name. They then burst through the enemy, imprinting a gold heart on the target's chest. The girls land behind the enemy and with the victim's heart flower above them and yell heart catch and an explosion occurs and with the attack is suspended with the target is suspended in the air and the girls respective flowers overlapping behind it. Cure Blossom and Cure Marine claps the center of their tacks to keep the center spinning. While Sunshine moves the tambourine in a circular motion, and in a flash of light, the enemy is purified. Heartcatch Orchestra is a group attack with Blossom, Rain, and Moonlight. They first used it in episode 38. To perform it, they have to be in their super silhouette forms, and need the Heartcatch Mirage and their respective weapons. When performing the attack, the Heartcatch Mirage surges with purity energy and a giant figure of a maiden appears before the girls declared the attack name. Pretty Cure ready their weapons and send her into the enemy. Under the command of the Pretty Cure, she stands behind the enemy, clutches her fists like gauntlet, and smashes the enemy on the ground. In a flash of light, all four of the girls' flowers overlap behind the enemy and as Pretty Care enforces their weapons, the enemy is purified. In this season, Cure Sunshine along with the other Cures of the season have named sub-attacks. Cure Sunshine sub-attacks, which are based on the power of sunlight, usually Cure Sunshine mostly uses sub-attacks that are based on protecting others. The shield Sunshine produces usually resemble a sunflower. These are her sub-attacks. Sunflower Ages is Cure Sunshine's most basic sub-attack, which allows her to summon a giant, big, gold flower, sunflower-shaped shield, which protects her and the people standing by her side. In order to use it, Sunshine calls Sunflower Ages and puts her hands in front of her. Then the shield appears. Popery is shown to have this ability to create a similar shield. Later in the season, it was shown that Cure Sunshine can also use the attack in, in an offensive way. When shouting Sunflower Ages Impact, she can shoot the shield at her enemies, which get knocked away by it. The offensive version of Sunflower Ages was seen in episode 46. Sunflower Protection was first used in episode 27. To use it, Cure Sunshine has to call Sunflower Protection, 
and then creates a magical orb around her, which shields her from any attack that、uh, that's about to hit it. Unlike her other protection attacks, Sunflower Protection only seems to shield Sunshine herself. Sunshine Flash, which is quite similar to Marine's Marine Shoot and Blossom's Blossom Shower, Cure Sunshine appears in front of an orange background and draws a circle with her hands. The circle consists of little spots of light. She calls Sunshine Flash, and waves of yellow pellets are shot at the enemy. And the last sub attack is Sunshine Dynamite, which mirrors Cure Marine's Dynamite attack. Much like Cure Marine, Cure Sunshine has to charge her power, which shine bright into a yellow ball ball of light. She usually puts her hands on her chest, which charges the power. She then shouts "Sunshine Dynamite" and releases a big explosion that hits and defeats Snackies. Other sub attacks that Sunshine can do are usually with the other cures, which are named Impact, Giant Explosion, mainly used with Marine, and Body Punches. Fact one: Isuki is the first cure to be confused for a boy due to her clothes and mannerisms. And be an ordinary civilian as an addition during the midway of the season, instead of a fairy, a villain, or a humanoid coming from another world. Fact two: Isuki uses different personal pronouns for her civilian and cure forms. Isuki uses Boku, a male pronoun, while Cure Sunshine uses Watashi. A gender-neutral pronoun used mostly by females. Fact three: In the Pretty Cure All Stars Sweet Flower Card Collection, Izuki is represented by the sunflower, which symbolizes aspiration and brilliance in the language of flowers. Fact four: Although her mother told Tsubomi and Erika that she started martial arts at the age of five in episode fifteen. In episode twenty-five, she told the fashion club members she started martial arts at the age of four. Fact five: In many of her focusing episodes, especially during the first half of the series, Isuki appears to have a butler who is unnamed but has a few speaking lines. He usually stands outside the Mordoi household and appears far away on screen, with his face never being shown. And that's Isuki Moidwin. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time when we go talking about the Glass Heart Catch Cure. Although there is a legendary cure in Dark Cure who will be getting their own videos, but that will not actually be part of the main line up of cures here. But you already know that will be. Talking about Yuri Tsuzuki Kage, aka Cure Moonlight, the opposite to Sunshine, and I think we can all agree that she is one of the most tragic pretty cures in the entire pretty cure series. We're gonna get into some crazy stuff with her information, so get ready for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.